who's looking at us. What did she say? What? Oh, oh, sorry, sir. No one was listening. We are talking about Disney Pixar Inside Out. Now tell me about creating the cast of characters for this film. Well, when we created the cast of characters for this, we looked at our kids. Our kids seem naturally happy all the time, so it seems natural for the lead emotion to be joy. And after joy, we, of course, you have anger, you have fear, you have sadness, and then there's disgust. Ah. Tell me a little bit about who this Riley character is and why we're gonna grow to love her so much. Oh, Riley is kind of like all our kids, everyone's kids. They have their early days as, as little kids, very happy, running around. Daddy, 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 mommy, mommy, mommy. And then over years, they, that changes. Do you ever look at someone and wonder, what is going on inside their head? Did you guys pick up on that? How do you bring life to these emotions? Well, the, the one thing that we learned about emotions is that they're actually a primitive set of reactions that, that help us navigate through life. Such that if you're feeling like you're not being treated fairly, you feel angry. But you choose what to do with it. So it, that immediately led us to create these characters that are separate from Riley. The guardians, they want what's best for Riley. Anger does not want Riley to be angry all the time. Oh, airplane. We got an airplane, everybody. <gasps> he wants to make sure that treat my little girl fairly and I'm okay, you won't have to hear from me. That's how we do it, because when you watch these characters care about someone else, it feels that like there's a relationship. It's Broccoli! <laughs> One thing I understand about the film is that it took five years to create. What is it like from the beginning of the process <laughs> when you come up with this idea of her, oh, we're gonna make this movie about oh, this little yeah, girl I and know. her emotions, and to five years later finally capturing it all on film? Yeah, it, it is. actually starts a lot like this, in a room like this, where and there's boards and you draw and you pin them up. Mostly it starts with conversations. Very, very exciting. I was up late last night figuring out a new plan. Here it is. All those challenges we talk about. I would be talking to Pete about his childhood. I talk about my kids, he talks about his kids, and then we grow these stories. We try and find out what Joy wants. Find out what the emotions need to do. Those kind of stories, we test out and draw them, and then we pitch it to each other. And after we pitch it, we find out, do we care about these characters? Is this a valuable moment in the movie? Do we want to keep it? Stuff like that. Think positive. Okay. I'm positive you will get lost in there. How important was it getting the voice actors that you did for these roles? Because they pretty much, that's the heart and soul of the film. Well, it's really important because just for example, when we had a concept of what Joy was gonna be about. And we kind of have in our heads kind of like what would be Joy's voice, but we don't know what she actually sounds like. The day that Amy Poehler sat to read the lines for Joy, she immediately became Joy. May I add, I love your dress, it's adorable. Oh, this old thing, thank you so much. I love the way it twirls. Oh, thank you, Joy. Not only that, Amy Poehler's personality is very much like Joy, such that she just being herself kind of just enlarges our experience of our character that we've been drawing and imagining. Oh, sadness. I have a super important job just for you. So when she stepped into the role, she kind of started to own it. She started like, I would say it this way. What if I did it like this? What if I, you know, I want to talk to the character this way? It felt like she just embodied joy right off day one. Imagination land? No way. Dream Productions? Rainbow Unicorn, she's right there. I loved you in Fairy Dream Adventure Part 7. Okay, bye, I love you. So what kind of emotion would you like people to leave the theater with after they see Inside Out? I would like them to leave with the character Joy. <laughs> Especially in, you know, in a lot of difficult times, she is amazing. And then you will watch her and you'll fall in love with what she wants for Riley, as well as all the other emotions. What the heck is that? Who puts broccoli on pizza? That's it. I'm done. Congratulations, San Francisco. You've ruined pizza. Bust the Hawaiians, and now you. EP's movie coverage is brought to you by Nintendo. Check out Xenoblade Chronicles 3D for the new 3DS.